Hello everybody! Salty Sweet Ren here, back with another episode of The Sims 3 Warriors Create Your Cat series. Now, for those of you who don't know, or maybe too new to the channel, this is a series in which I take cats that you, the viewers, have submitted, and I try to recreate them within The Sims 3. Eventually they will show up within my uh, Sims 3 Warriors challenge, when the seasons change, or um, every so often during every like full moon or there was a few conditions I was going to do like to have it happen a little more frequently because I've got a lot more cats than I was anticipating now. But uh, these can be these cats can be your OCs, they can be cats that you own, they can be made up off the top of your head, they can be whatever you please. And um, they can also be like loners, kitty pets, rogues, wanderers, even former clan cats like from the original clans in the books, including Sky Clan. But, um, even if you don't have a cat to submit, that's fine. Uh, you can share this series with a friend who might be interested in having their cat made in The Sims and become a part of this world. And I also have my own cat kind of wandering around, so you may hear him messing around with my setup or trying to play with stuff that's up on one of the shelves. So if you hear some weird stuff, it's probably him. I've changed my setup recently. And he is... Apparently... What are you doing, buddy? He's messing with some of the cords near my laptop. Uh, he's right behind my laptop, actually. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him. But anyway, so if you hear him periodically, don't mind that. Um, also, as another note, uh, for this series, I'm going to be giving priority to people who have not had their cats created in this, in this series before. Now you can still um, you can still submit cats even if I've already added yours to the world or I've made them in a previous episode or whatever. Just keep in mind that it's going to take me longer to get to the additional cats that you have created because I'm trying to get to people who have not had a chance to have their cats made yet. Don't worry, your cats are still going to be on my list. I'll still add them so I can do them in a future episode. It's just going to take me a little bit longer to get to them. So just be patient. And also, The Sims 3 has still been giving me trouble, and in fact, um, episode 29, while I was recording that, it crashed right at the end. I thankfully saved my game. I thankfully saved my game, like, right after that fight. I believe it should have gone up yesterday for you guys. I saved my game immediately after the fight. But, uh... I decided, like, that crash would be a good sign that maybe I should wrap up right there. So, uh, I'm still just gonna be focusing on two cats at a time in this, just to minimize the chance of the game crashing on me completely. So, anyway, let's go ahead and jump in with the first cat this episode. Alright. Now the first cat is submitted by someone called Jasmine Whisper, and the cat's name is Jasmine Whisper. So that's easy. Uh, Jasmine Whisper is described as he is a self-centered, cunning Tom from River Clan, and he loves anything shiny. A long furred Siamese with white ripples at his side and sharp green eyes. So Jasmine Whisper, I'm guessing, is an ex-clan cat and a Tom. So. Let's go ahead and look through some of the breeds. Uh, Longford Siamese. Now, typically, Siamese is one of the options on here. Typically, Siamese are short-furred. They're pretty skinny, pretty short-furred. That's what Siamese typically look like. However, um, this one is described as being long-furred. And being a clan cat, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, bloodlines would probably get pretty mixed. It's you'd probably almost never see a pure breed within the clans, so I'll be using the Siamese as a base, perhaps? Unless there's another color point that may be more fun. Tonkinese, perhaps? Um, no, it said Siamese. I'll stick with the Siamese. I'll go ahead and do Longford right off the bat as well. So let's go to first shape and advanced mode. Let's go ahead and give you some longer fur. Um, 
see, long combed, perhaps. Very easily changes the look. Er, long tail, perhaps. Let's see, a long for Siamese. Siamese do have that distinct, very skinny look. Fluffy rear. Um. Maybe just long combed, perhaps. I'll do long combed mixed with long tail. Your medium length is gone. Let's just bring these all down. Okay. Long combed mixed with long tail to a certain extent. There, you still look very distinctly like a Siamese. And I can also... I can also use the sliders to kind of fix everything up so you still have that distinct Siamese look to you. Um, let's see, you have white ripples on the side. For the most part, I'll probably leave the markings as is. But let's go ahead and get some white ripples on the side, so... gonna do this on this side and we're gonna make it like a pure white color. Kinda okay, take the opacity down just a bit. And we can do the same on the opposite side. So something like that. I'll probably also make the chest that same shade of white. Chest isn't like. Oh no, I can make the base coat kind of like a whiter color. Nah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna make the chest that same shade of white. Just so, like, we kind of have. I'm gonna do the faded version. But it's gonna be that same shade of white. And I'm gonna bring it down beneath all the markings just in case. That's pretty fun. I do like the way that this looks already. Um, do I want to do anything with any other markings? Maybe I'll get rid of the stripes on the tail? This is the stripes, yeah? Um, if I do this... Oh no, uh... That's just a white tail. Or not. Um, where's the stripes? Where are the stripes? Oh, these are the stripes, aren't they? Nope, wrong thing once again. Um, I do not see where the stripes on the tail are. Is that normal, or...? Because if I do this... Oh, I can still see the stripes underneath. Let's see, I'm kind of trying to figure this out. Let's see, this marking is on the ear, this is on the other ear. This is that tail marking. Oh, there's a tail marking. Okay, this I'm gonna bring back down to about here, perhaps. Tail marking we can get rid of, perhaps, with the stripes. Um, do I want to keep this big blotch on the back? Uh, perhaps. I kind of wonder if I should like do like another kind of like whiter color on the head or. Hmm. Maybe I can make these a little more distinct, actually. Just a bit, maybe. Or maybe there might be... I'm still gonna do it at, like, half. The ripples are still there. I wanna do something, because, like, this is, like, the default Siamese face, but, like, at the same time, I'm, like... 
Hmm. Maybe I can pull this a little more towards a gray color? Like, that could make a difference. This towards that same kind of more gray color. If things are a little bit more gray rather than brown, that will make a big, quite a bit of a difference, I think. So let me go ahead and have you stand up. Just so I can take a look. Just kind of drag these along. The creamy color can stay creamy color. Doesn't really matter. That bit at least. Gives like a little bit of color at least. Alright. I think this is different enough that it still looks fun. I might actually remove... I'll lower the opacity on the chest marking it, in fact. Sides, I'm gonna make a little bit more bold. A uh, chest I'm actually gonna bring up a bit as well. I think I like this. This is a fun look. Okay. Now let's go to the body shape. Right off the bat, I want to have you look more like a Siamese. So, where is... Body size? You're going to be a little bit smaller, being a Siamese cat. Um, where is... Body thickness? I'm going to pull in a bit. Body length? I may make a little bit longer. Not too much. Uh, next scale. Going to pull in like so. That already makes you look so much more like a traditional Siamese. I actually want to make the tail longer too. Where's tail length? Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and make the tail a bit longer. That'll be fun. And eyes. Eyes are the next most important thing. So. You're described as having sharp green eyes, so let's go ahead and first change everything to like a green color. That's already green. Make that kind of a darker green right there. This kind of dull. This Uh, let's see, I don't know if I want it to be like so dull. Kind of like a foresty color, probably. Foresty, sharp green. At the very least, the middle of the eyes should look pretty bright. Like so. Like that. Eye shape for sharp eyes. That is immediately what I would say would be sharp eyes. See, eye scale is brought up pretty high for Siamese. So if I do it like that, that's a little bit different. Let's see, if I rotate the eyes, it changes more than I want changed. Brows, where's the brow height? I don't know, I feel like there's something going on with like the brows that doesn't quite give it the um, sharpness that I'm looking for, so to say. Um, this one, brow height. Okay, that actually makes it look a little bit more serious right off the bat. At least from the sides, looks more like a serious cat. 
eye height. Bring it up a bit. That works. Um, let me actually get the eye depth to go in a little bit, because otherwise this can get... Yeah, eye depth, let's pull in just a bit, otherwise it can kind of... looks like almost bug-eyed. Especially considering the eyes used to be a little bit lower on the face. So... That works. Do I want to change the nose color at all? It's like that. Like that is probably fine. Okay. So personality. Jasmine Whisper. My phone turned off. Let me pull my notes back up. And Jasmine Whisper is self-centered, cunning, and loves anything shiny. So let's see. Self-centered, uh, proud right off the bat. Proud cats uh, typically don't interact with other cats as much. Um, cunning, a uh, genius, works right off the bat. And loves anything shiny. Um, let's see, uh, there's, is there anything that's specifically for like anything shiny? I wonder if would playful work? Uh, like, they would probably go after toys more often? Toys count as anything shiny? I don't know. Um... Independent is... They prefer to be on their own. If I can't find anything that fits shiny, I may go... I may add independent alongside proud for the self-centered thing, maybe? But yeah, proud pet pets think they're better than others, have their own image to maintain. Adventurous for anything shiny, perhaps? You do look like you're investigating something interesting. Okay, we'll give you a lower voice, perhaps. I think that this is a pretty good Jasmine Whisper. Now let me go ahead and say... Submitted by Jasmine Whisper. So thank you, Jasmine Whisper, for submitting Jasmine Whisper. <laughs> Let's move on to the next cat. All right. Now this next cat is submitted by Naomi Meows, and this cat is Joan, who is a loner. So Joan is a she-cat loner. So let's go ahead and move that. And once again, she is a Siamese albina with pink eyes and many gray, black, light, and dark brown spots all over her with calico ears. Fluffy, but not too fluffy. Um, let's see, Siamese albino is an interesting description for a cat. Or like a Siamese albino with a bunch of different markings. I'll use the Siamese as a base. And we can say that the albino comes from the... What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take all of the Siamese markings, the typical Siamese markings. We've got two Siamese this episode, this'll be interesting. I'll take all of the traditional Siamese markings and make them all a pure white color. Everything is going to be pure white. And then we'll make other markings over the top of that, just to kind of um, go along with the whole Siamese thing going on. Let's see, go ahead and do that. Make that white. Everything's gonna be completely white so that we can make you an albino in a little bit. This has two colors, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. Well, up we go, up we go, until everything is white. So those white markings can be inherited. That's part of the reason I didn't just delete them all and leave the coat white. These white markings can be inherited, 
So we might turn up with like a cat who has like the facial markings of a Siamese, but it's all white instead. That could be pretty interesting to see. So on top of that, however, we're gonna do the other markings. So many gray, black, light, and dark brown spots all over with calico ears. Uh, calico is just um, having lots of spots all over. So uh, let's just go ahead and do the ear markings first. Which should be here, I believe. Yep. And we'll go ahead and make them black. Go ahead and give you black tipped ears. And from there, we can go ahead and give you other spots all over. I'm gonna mostly put them in the places where you'd see it on a Siamese, though. Like, on the face, let's go ahead and do, like, let's see. You wouldn't have, like, dark brown spots, so dark brown and light brown. So let me go ahead and pull this here and do some light brown as well. That's a little too gingery. So if I do something like this, and I'll twist it around, like so. And I can take this and move it like, around where the paws are. And perhaps on the tail as well. And on top of this, there's also gray and black. So let's go ahead and get some gray and black markings going. Like, around the same sort of area. So let's go ahead and get gray and black. So right off the bat we can do something like so. I might actually lower the opacity on that just because why not? And get it over on the other paw. Uh, we'll move it around here, spin it around a bit. And then take it all the way to the tip of the tail, I think. These dark brown spots, I'm actually going to put a, a little bit on here, on this leg, so you can kind of see vaguely here. I'm going to put some on the opposite foot, or at least a little bit higher up. And for the sake of it, actually, I am going to kind of do the same sort of thing that I did with, or that the regular Siamese has, which is a fairly large faded marking on the back, which I'm going to lower the opacity of. That looks pretty fun. I think that I could work with this sort of pattern. It's it's pretty fun. Pretty different, but pretty fun. Definitely not your traditional Siamese, but... Probably inherited albino... Like, maybe one of the parents was an albino Siamese, hence why all the traditional Siamese markings are now um, a pure white color. Whereas the other parent probably was not a Siamese or an albino and we have all sorts of fun little brown and gray calico markings. Anyway, you're described as being fluffy but not too fluffy. 
So let's see, fluffy tail, if I pull up the fur length. No, that's not right. Um, where is just plain fluffy? Ironically, cats that are just plain fluffy are not as fluffy as cats that have a fluffy tail. So, I think I'm gonna go with this. Uh, for density, perhaps? Do I want to mess with... Uh, I'll put it, like, here. And let's go ahead and back out. And let's move, let's edit your body type as well. So, advanced mode. Um, I don't want know if I want to give you all the same looks as, um, as Jasmine Whisper. Because I know you're both Siamese, but I want to make you a little bit different. I make you, perhaps, even smaller, perhaps? Like, that small right now? Um... Maybe I'll give you slightly shorter legs. Just slightly. Not too short, just a little bit. Um, let's see... Next scale, I'll actually leave alone. I might mess with the ear position. Move it a little farther down on the head, just a bit. Or let's see, it was at the top, and now I can put it here. I might make the ears not that much smaller, but more like around here, perhaps. Her oh, ears, what's that? Oh, that's fun. It's kind of like the ear tip angle, but. A little more exaggerated. Um, let's go with something like that, perhaps, actually. Let's see, you have pink eyes, so let's go ahead and do that. We can give you kind of the albino y, reddish pink eyes. And this blue will probably be a little closer to white rather than. Very different. A very different cat than most I've probably ever created. Nose will probably also be like a bright pink, just to kind of go with the whole uh, color scheme. I'm not so happy with the eyes. Let me change the colors a bit more. Um, let's see, this. Maybe a little more of a pink pink, maybe? Nah, that looks even weirder. Um... No. It's just like so many different shades of pink, because it's very hard to get the right looking pink around here. I think that actually might have fixed it, somehow. Okay, I think that that looks better. It's a very pink pink, actually. But you know what? I'm cool with that. I think that's fun. So, let's go ahead and... Do I want to change anything about the eye shape, perhaps? Um, my cat's on the move again. He's gonna jump onto my laptop. Or the table behind it. I think that this is fun. So this is... This is what Joan looks like, I suppose. So. Uh, personality traits. My phone turned off again. Let me turn it back on so I can see the personality traits. Um, let's see. Her personality is that she is independent, a hunter, and skittish. She is always quiet until you insult her family or friends. Then she yells at you with her quiet, squeaky meow and yowl. But she's not aggressive as much as her brother. So, um... Right off the bat, says she's a hunter, independent, and skittish. So, hunter... Uh, where is independent? 
and skittish. Aww. Aww, poor dear. But she's very cute. So she has been submitted by... Naomi Meows. So thank you, Na thank you, Naomi. So now we have Jasmine Whisper and Joan, a pair of very different-looking Siamese cats, very different backgrounds, both using the Siamese as a base, but they look completely different from each other. So I'm very glad I was able to pull that off. I didn't even change too much about them, but I didn't change too much about the base of the Siamese. It's mostly the fur and the eyes that look different, I suppose? But anyway, I think that that's going to wrap up this episode of Sims 3 Warriors Create Your Cat. If you have any cats that you would like to submit, go ahead and leave them in a comment down below. Leave the cat's um, name, uh, their person, leave a brief description of their appearance and personality, and I will add them to my list so I can create them in a future episode. And if you enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in whatever episodes may come in the future. Stay safe out there, friends.